Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 22 of the Leak Code Day Challenge, and there's a premium problem later. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, today's problem is 688 night probability in chessboard. Okay, so we, what are we, what variation we're doing? So basically, and what's n again? Is that just like n, n by n? Okay, yeah, uh, n by n board, k is 100. Um, yeah. I mean, there's two uh, cool ways to do it. Uh, one is with um, top down, and the other way is bottom up. And <laughs> if, if you know what I'm talking about, then you already know that this is dynamic programming. And uh, with dynamic programming, there uh, or with these probability e problems, um, the thing is that, uh, and it's not always true, I suppose, technically speaking. But very often, um, probability problems uh, are stateless, right? Uh, how you get to a certain state. Um, you know, it doesn't matter anything else after that, uh, or at least like the basic uh, uh, probability problems anyway. So in this particular case, that is true, right? If you get to a point where, you know, if you're, if the knight is on, on uh, XY on uh, move two, then, you know, it doesn't matter how you get there, the, you know, the answer is always going to be the same. And therefore there is a very, um, very intuitive uh state diagram or not state diagram sorry but like just uh um dynamic programming states uh that you know you, you can get to so let's kind of get started i mean I, I think everything is just um how do you say this i mean i think the knights part is something that if you haven't done before could be a little bit different but it shouldn't have to be um and there are some like tricks you can do if you are really, really clever, uh, depending on N and stuff like that. There, there is some like symmetry arguments, so, so you can actually save some constant space. But, but yeah, but basically the idea is just to, pop, you know, to calculate it, right? So, so basically calculate, what, what are we trying to do here? Uh, stay in the, in the, Okay, so it moves off the board, right? So then here you can say maybe move, uh, you can say x, y, right? Oops. And then if move is equal to k, that means that you stayed on the board, so we return 1.0 for, you know, it's a throw. Um, yeah, otherwise, I assume that we don't sum up, you know, we don't go to to moves that are outside x, y. Um, so that's why I'm not checking for it. You can check it in couple, either before you call or after you call. I'm, it, it feels more uh, intuitive for me to do it before you call in this particular case. So yeah, so probability is equal to zero, zero. And one thing about probability um, of um, independent events is that, um, Uh, am I, I'm trying to be very precise with the mathematical terms, but I think I'm, I'm wanking out right now. So, so if I if I am a little bit hand wavy and I'm a little bit, uh, uh, you know, hopefully this at least gets you to look into the right direction to actually get the right things. But, but yeah, but basically because all these events are independent, um, you you can just sum them all up, right? So basically the idea, uh, and we're gonna. You know, for dx, dy, and directions, that means that for one each of the eight directions, when we'll write it out in a second, but right if do, 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 so if this is inside n, just want to make sure this zero indexed. Okay. Oops. Um. Then you know we could add it to just calculate. Move plus one, n x n y. That's pretty much it. Uh, and yeah, and we could calculate from move zero, from row and column, and and I don't even know. Uh, uh, yeah, you don't even have to because uh, for symmetry reasons, I think it should. Be, uh, yeah, well, there, there's more symmetry here because uh, uh, it's n by n. If it wasn't n by n, then you have to be a little bit careful. Meaning that if it's like r times c or something like this, right? Uh, yeah. So basically, for every direction, uh, if this is inbound, we just add it 
to the other uh, the frame. Um, you can also add, uh, write it another way where basically you do something like this, but then you know if you have to, you have to do it before the move. Uh, if x, uh, if uh, didn't I have this? Didn't I? I thought I copied. It. Okay, fine. If da -da 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 -da. so, if this is not true. Right, and you could use Morris to Mo uh, Morris Tolan. Is that the one? I, I, oh no, no, no. Sorry, the Morgan's law. Uh, right, and, and this returns zero point zero because there's no chance of you to get out. So you could do it in one of these two ways. It doesn't. Um, yeah, and in this case, you don't. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna run it real quick. I know I didn't do memorization in case you're wondering. Oh, and I, I forgot to do directions. I mean, I, I said I would, but but yeah, and and, and here. Um, I think the beauty of writing it this way is that you can do it for any kind of thing. And what I mean by that is that for here is knight, but you can let's just say you have a king, then you can just move up, down, left, right, and diagonals. If you have a, a pawn, you can just choose your direction to go, you know, uh, uh, up one, and uh, you know what I mean. Maybe pawn is a bad example, uh, and so forth. I mean, so I think that th that's the way I like to do it. And directions, of course, you can um set it up as uh very easy to make mistakes so definitely be careful about it maybe i need to figure out a way to kind of hmm, maybe i could make this even better but yeah and make do a sp quick spin uh, 4.0 is clearly wrong because I forgot to divide it by 8. <laughs> uh, so it's this, uh, but for each of these, it's going to be this divided by uh, 8 because you have 8 moves, right? Um, so yeah, so you sum that all up. And of course, if you sum all the 8 together, you can actually just do it here instead. You could, I mean, this is just a very basic thing. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now it looks good, but of course, it's going to time out for any reasonable... What what is the, oh I guess that's just what is this twenty five a uh, hundred I don't know this the, the X Y is not as important so this would definitely time out just because you know you're branching eight ways for for every move uh, that kind of adds up very quickly so of course the next thing you want to do is memorization at least the way that I wrote it I mean you could also do it uh, with DP which which in this case with DP you can actually uh, reduce the space as well so definitely consider doing that but for now we'll say okay what, what's how much space do we need well move is going to be from zero to k or k inclusive i think um x y are both going to go from zero to n so we need to allocate n squared times k space and so let's do that uh three dimensional stuff is always annoying n times n times no, no no we want moves first right so okay uh so then the inner one is n, n plus one no n is fine right and then the actual cash this time I'm lazy, I'm just copying and pasting. And then, yeah. And then now we just have to use it. If that's cache of move xy. Uh, I think this one we actually want k plus 1. But I don't think that, well, that could never happen because if, it's, if move is k, then you return 1.0. I don't know. It doesn't really matter that much. But if you want to be precise, then you, know, you should be precise. Yeah. And yeah, and that, that's pretty much it. I mean, unless I have a typo, then you know, then it's very sad. But yeah, but you can see that even this terminates, so that looks good. So let's give it a submit. And there we go. Uh, it's relatively slow. Because yeah, you could also, like I said, you can definitely do it uh, bottoms up, uh, definitely practice that. And then once you are able to do it bottoms up, do the space optimization and 
that part should be pretty okay once you have a good uh, understanding of that. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, have a great weekend, everybody. Stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.